everybody! This is Christian Pokemon Champion here with another video! Now a while back, I fought against the Gen 4 Elite 4 members using only Barry's team, or Elihu if you're an audience member of mine. Unfortunately I failed. Pretty bad. <laughs> but I did a poll to see which rival in the Pokemon game series you guys wanted to see next to face their respective Elite 4 teams, to see how they fare against them. I'm calling this series the Rival Challenge Series. Clever name, I know. Also, my hair is wet. <laughs> And so I can't wear my mask today. Enjoy the diglet on my face. According to you guys, you chose N as our next rival. So let's quickly go over the rules. I have to mirror the final team of the said rival. At least their final team as of just prior to the Elite Four. This includes the levels, held items, if any, move sets, ability, and gender, if applicable. Since the last time didn't go over too well with Barry, you guys requested me to max out the EVs and IVs for each of these Pokemon as well. This way, there's at least a fighting chance. Since we don't necessarily know each rival's Pokemon's EVs or IVs, and since it's definitely possible that they train their Pokemon properly, this makes sense to allow. Lastly, in terms of item usage, I'll be allowed to buy items from the Pokemon up to the amount the rival gives you after beating them, along with whatever items they have access to during their final battle. In this case, N provides you with 10,000 Poke Dollars if you beat him, and has access to 4 full restores, although I'm not allowed to use these items during battle. I really can only use them after a battle is done, so I really gotta conserve like a boss. Now onto what team I'll be using for the challenge. If you already know what's on N's team, you can skip to the start of the challenge via this timestamp. Just like N, I'll be having Kinkling, Zekrom, Archeops, Vanillix, Zorark, and Karakosta. Kinkling will have Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Metal Sound, and Hyper Beam, with the ability plus. What? Really? Well that sucks. Zekrom will have Fusion Bolt, Zen Headbutt, Giga Impact, and Light Screen, with the ability Terra Bolt. This ability actually comes in handy in a challenge later on. Archaeops has Acrobatics, Stone Edge, Dragon Claw, and Crunch. This dude is definitely the brawn of the team, with the ability Defeatist. Well, he's gonna lose. That's just Defeatist. I just love Hamilton references. Ice Cream will have Blizzard, Flash Cannon, Frost Breath, and Hail. With the ability Ice Body, not a terrible ability, but I don't really have the attention span to utilize it. Zoro will have Night Slash, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, and Retaliate. Good spread for decent physical and special attack, with of course the ability Illusion. I'll be making sure to make use of this. And last is Karakosta. They will have Crunch, Aqua Jet, Waterfall, and Stone Edge. With a potentially useful ability, Sturdy. Unfortunately they're real slow, even with maxed out EVs and IVs. But at least I have Aqua Jet. Unfortunately, N does not give any health items to his Pokemon, stinking cheapskate. With my 10,000 Poke Dollars, I buy one Hyper Potion, five Revives, three Burn Heals, two Paralyze Heals, and one Antidote, though I'm out 50 Poke Dollars. The Elite Four makes use of status moves like will -O so I'll be wanting to be proactive against them. Plus, I'll also have the aforementioned full restores. Other than that, now let's begin! First off, it's the Fighting Type Elite Four member, Marshall. Despite Archeops being able to KO his throw, I decided to restart my first attempt since Sock has 30, and I want to avoid any damage if all possible. On my second attempt, I once again take out the throw with Acrobatics. Then to combat Sock Sturdy, I attacked with Zekrom. I didn't know this at the time, but due to their ability Terravolt, it bypasses the effect of Sturdy, taking them out in one move. It was hilarious because I didn't see this coming at all. Thereon, Archeops was able to KO the Kunkelder and Mianxiao. Next up is Kaelin, the second type Elite Four member. I did lose the first few attempts because I wanted to run where their Pokemon would miss their initial attack. But eventually, Karakosta, or I mean Zoro, feinted the Reuniclus with one critted Night Slash. For Sigilith, I used one of my five Fusion Bolts. While it does KO them, I can't use it willy nilly. I brought out Sussy Baka Karakosta for Mushu. Sharna, a Night Slash, and they retaliated with a Psychic. Which, since Zoro is a Dark type, this ain't gonna hit us. I then slashed them with a Shura for the finishing blow. As you can tell, I'm a huge One Piece weeb. I failed to take out the Gothitelle in one hit, so they got an attack on me. Again, since I'm way too paranoid, I start over. After another five attempts, I'm back at Gothitelle. I used a Night Slash, and since it was a crit, I was able to win my second match of the challenge, and on my 17th attempt. To keep things in order, let's go for Grimsley. Generally, this dude gives me the most trouble from this Elite Four, but let's see how he fares against N's team. Scrafty is first. I have a very limited amount of fighting moves on my team. Team, that being Focus Blast and Zoroark. Thus, to conserve the PP, I use Acrobatic since it's super effective against them. The Sharp is next. I quickly learned that Flamethrower wasn't strong enough for them. Also, it's hilarious seeing Vanillix using Flamethrower. So next time, I opted for a Focus Blast, which, being four times effective this time around, fainted them. For his next Pokemon, I tried out Karakosta. Unfortunately, it's not fast enough and got hurt. On my second attempt, I instead had the real Vanillix use Blizzard to KO them. Thankfully, it didn't miss. Because, you know, if it ain't 100%, it's 50%. Please don't sue me, I'm in JTV. Grimsley's last Pokemon, Lifebird, is brought out. Since I only have the Focus Blast to do any super effective damage against them, I figured it was okay to use my second one. I'll still have three more for future battles anyway. Unfortunately, while I was able to feint them, Zoro did endure some damage from the fake out. Because I have nothing to counter it, I just kind of have to suck it up. After Grimsley, we can face our final Elite Four member, Chantel. Her first Pokemon is Crefagrigus. Archaeops didn't seem to be strong enough, so next time I brought out Sussy Zoro. I used Night Slash and they missed with Will-O-Wisp. Because they missed, this was a sure victory. Willow is up and I wanted to see if Kurakosta would be faster. I wonder if Water 
waterfall, and indeed, Kurokosa was faster, and even fainted them. For the Jellicent, I knew I would have to use my second Fusion Bolt, but at least it was strong enough to take him out. And now for her last Pokemon. Chandelure is a glass <coughs> <laughs> no more stasis, please! I knew then, if I can land a Stone Edge, I'd faint them. Which I did. Epic! <laughs> now, technically, our next opponent, according to the story, is... ourself. N. I originally thought it would be best to skip this battle, but I wanted to give you guys more content. So let's get philosophical and defeat ourselves. Also, as a note, you can heal by talking to this girl. But since I'm a pro, I skipped them. Oh and heals you before the battle. And you gotta tell me these things when you read the script! Anyways, as per usual, the story forces us to capture Rashiram, at least in Pokemon Black. You're allowed to put them in the PC if you wanted to, but mid-battle I decided to keep Rashiram in place of Zekrom. The reason being is threefold. One, the Rashiram that you catch is two levels lower than the Zekrom that N will have in the battle. That and the EVs and IVs will be randomized, so it'll provide a slight extra challenge to the fight. Two, it'll have a representation for N's team in Pokemon White. And three, it'll add some spice to the mix. Now let's do this. Oh hey there, hot stuff. This just got really weird. First things first, our newly captured Rashiram versus their Zekrom. In case you wanted to know, this is their moveset, since I didn't explain it in the intro. They use an ineffective Fusion Bolt. Rashiram is a Dragon Bro. And since I'm clearly the more competent N, I use Dragon Breath, which takes half. They miss their Zen Headbutt, and I finish them off with another attack. Up next is Karakosa, or so they claim. But I know smarter. What did I just say? I use Thunderbolt. I mean, just in case it really is a Karakosta. They then use Waterfall. Oh, I guess it really is a Karakosta. Because I got them the healing range, they had to heal. But just two more attacks did it for them. King Kling is next, and this time I'm confidently certain it's their Zoro. Because I believe King Kling is at the back of its party. So I get out my Zoro for the irony. Plus I can use a Focus Blast to KO them. Oh, and look at that. I see your disguise, fake N. The real King Kling is now up. They may have been faster than Rashiram, but it was just a metal sound. This meant that Rashiram could take them out with a single Fusion Flare. I used Flash Cannon as Archeops since it would do more damage than Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, it didn't take them out, which meant that they attacked the Stone Edge. At least it's ineffective. Another Flash Cannon made them extinct. Be because they're a fossil Pokemon. G go back to the battle. This is one more Pokemon, Ice Cream. Just before I sent them to heck, they got an abysmal hail on, whereby I did an Exodia and obliterated them. Oh, you think we're done with the Elite Four challenge? Oh, mere mortals, we have one more to go. Now, I'll tell you guys this now. This was a really close match. But before that, unfortunately, the game doesn't give me the opportunity to have the correct Pokemon up front. I just ended up switching into Zoro since I have a good move against them, consequently taking a Toxic. We waste the first turn and Protect, then my attack didn't do as much as I wanted it to. They even got a Shadow Ball on me. We then waste another, because he's a hack, and next turn we knocked each other out. But because this happened, I wasn't able to see what Pokemon Gets this will bring out next. I decided to bring out Kinkling since Metal Sound will be able to take down any enemy. What he brings out is Afro Circus. I use a Metal Sound and he attacked with Earthquake. I find out that even with a Metal Sound, I can only take about half their HP, which led to him fainting my second Pokemon. Since I don't have access to Focus Blast anymore, I decided to bring out Ice Cream since I figured he'd be strong enough, and thankfully he was. I used a super effective Dragon Claw and his Hydreigon, taking half. Not enough though, since they destroyed Archeops with just one Surf. I bring out Ice Cream hoping I could either to be faster or be able to take a hit, but he was able to melt the soft serve in one massive focus blast. Dang man. Now let's bring out Rashiram. They get a Dragon Pulse on me before I take them out. They then bring out their Giant Frog and I bring out my Giant Turtle. At this point in the match I only have two Pokemon to his three. He uses Rain Dance, which actually increases the strength of my neutral waterfall. Next turn they get a Critted Muddy Water. Because Kyrgyzosta has sturdy, I was able to survive and take them down. Electros is up. Instead of switching, I figured I could quickly get an Aqua Jet on them before fainting, but apparently I missed. I mean seriously? Okay, so I brought out my final Pokemon and used extra sensory since I calculated to do the most damage. Wow, they almost fainted me with a crunch. Next turn, I was able to beat them with Dragon Breath. All right, it's mono e mono. The rain ends. So now's the best opportunity to use Fusion Flare. <laughs> Fusion? So now's the best opportunity to use Fusion Flare, giving me the win by a literal hair. So we found out that while Barry wasn't ready to take on the Elite Four, N was. Granted, canonically speaking, he did beat them, but we found out that he was also ready to fight both himself and Getsus, all without using items. I predict that the difficulty of future rival challenges will depend on whether the rival actually became a champion, like Anne or Gary, or is just a prelude to the Elite Four, like Barry and Gold. Now before you go, please vote for which rival you want next to my poll on my channel's community page. Hope to see you there! Bye!